So if you wanted to see what it's like when I take my cat for a walk, and no, it's not a baby stroller. It is actually for cats. It says pet gear. And it has like a mini leash attached, so you would stick it to their collar. This is one of the cheapest ones. They have much better ones that like click instead of zipping and, you know, got a bottom just like when you have a baby. So you can put stuff in. I bring a leash with me in case I want to let him out. But um, this is what it's like when I take him out for a walk. Because he used to be an outdoor cat. For the 10 years I had him, and I got him when he was like just under one, so his whole life he was outdoor, until he came here, and then me being new, instead of someone telling me that outdoor cats weren't allowed, they ratted me out. So I got called into the property management and told, your cat cannot be outside without a leash. And he does not like that. He doesn't really even like the stroller, so I'm trying to get him used to it. But, um, I can't do it for too long without him meowing to get out because he's still prisoner. But it has a little, like, window so he can see me. And then, you know, so he can see all around. He ends up going upside down, too, in it. I don't know how he does that attached to the, the leash thing that's attached inside there. But it's just like a real baby stroller. You know, it's got the brakes, but like I said, it is not for babies. It is for cats and small dogs. And I usually, my apartment building has like, it goes around like a circle. So on the inside is like a pool and a playground. And then around the outside is where all the cars and everything are. Because when I go out, I usually cut through this little path of the woods, which is behind a gym. Um, but what people usually do here, I'm going to show you. They usually walk their dogs. It's mostly a dog community. Like you can see a little barrel over there. See where the sign is? That's a barrel with little trash bags to pick up waste and put the bags tied up with the waste into there. And it's all around the property. There's one at the end of the parking lot here. So this is like a sort of circle. Let me show you. But this is where people, I'm trying to, I'm going to show you. Let me just lift him up over the curb. I'm actually in my pajamas and slippers. <coughs> so this is what, this is actually called the courtyard. And it's a circle around all the apartments. I mean, inside the apartments are around a circle. So... People usually walk their dogs around the circle, sometimes even out further, and then like through that path behind the gym. Um, he used to go behind all those trees, like on the inner part, like people walk their dogs on the sidewalk. He would be in where the grass is under all those trees and walk around that and then I'm going to show you where my apartment is where he would normally hang out I actually had to get a tile and put it on his collar so that it, it makes a sound when you push something on the app and so I would know where he was because he hung around right near the house but I didn't know where <laughs> I couldn't see him because he'd be under bushes because there's so many dogs you know um so, my apartment's on the other side over there. There's a bike, bike racks, bike parking, right there where that tree is. These apartments also go across the street. That's where the basketball court is. On this side is where the pool and I guess you can call it a playground. <laughs> I'll show you it. It's on the other side of the pole, right across from my apartment. So, this is a circle that you can like walk your dog. It's not bad, especially if you're a dog owner. They don't like cats here, they hate cats. But, um, 
there's the pool. And then on the other side is the playground. I'll show you that one yet. Back near my apartment. Oh, there's dogs up there on the balcony. What a beautiful dog. It looks like Alaskan or a shepherd or something. I let my cat out on the balcony, but um, I can't poop it because his way of coming and going, because to get in the doors, there's like two sets of doors. So we have these outer gray doors. And then when you get in that little hallway, you actually have to be buzzed in. You have to ring the buzzer. So there was no way for him to like get out like from my old, the same way from the old place. So he, I used to let him on the balcony and then like after five days of living here, I have a video. It says he escaped. <laughs> That's the supposed playground. Um, he would jump off the balcony to get out and then climb up. The bars are metal, but the porches and the, like, still holding it up are wooden. So he would use his claws to, like, climb back up and then squeeze back through the bars. And that's how he came and went for six months before I was told he couldn't go out. So. Oh, he's trying to break out. He's trying to get out of here. He's trying to break out. Hey, cut it out. This is where he hunted. This was his area. He would go over there where those rocks are under that tree. He would go over there, um, like where the signs are around over there. Um, so he's seeing all his familiar area that he can no longer explore. Um, my balcony has like chicken wire and chicken fence all around it so he can't squeeze through the bars anymore. So, stop trying to break out. This is mine, my area, not where the clothesline is. It's so ghetto. And, uh, all right, baby, we're home. We're home, we're back. So he would always be like under these bushes and stuff. So I would have to use the app to make contact with the tile that was attached to the color. All right, we're going. And yeah, I keep his leash hooked on here in case we're out when we're out he wants to get out of here and go free. So here we are. Hold on. I gotta get him up the steps. The door is actually open and it's not supposed to be because you ring the buzzers um, to get in. But all right, so that's my floor there. I'm gonna, I gotta go up those steps.